Welcome back to the second hour of today's edition of Butler on Business. And joining us now is our precious metals expert, David Morgan of the Morgan Report. David, briefly before we run out of time, how can people subscribe to the Morgan Report? And then we'll get on to our content of the day. Our best thing to do is just go to the website, silver-investor.com, and get on our free email list. You'll be able to sample the report for 30 days for free, and then you can make a determination. All right. David, I had uh, started off the show talking about what they refer to as the stop logic, which uh, is on the CME, and that gold slam that we saw with those 2 million ounces of gold that suddenly traded uh, last week shut the CME down. It has shut down. The CME has been shut down a couple of times now with this stop logic. What exactly is the stop logic? When do they deploy it? And what do you think is behind it? Well, I didn't answer all those except uh, what exactly is it uh, as far as, you know, is it an algorithm that's done through a computer network or is it somebody that's physically, you know, pressing a button on a cell order or whatever? I'm not certain. What I do know is that how markets move. And whenever you deploy a huge buy order or a huge sell order, it moves the market. I mean, this has been proven, and it's an absolute fact. So anyone that wanted to deploy that kind of a sell order knows in advance that it will drive the market down. What they may or may not know is that that type of order will actually freeze the system. Now, if you go to the stock market as an analogy, there are what's called circuit breakers in place. Of course, they're not circuit breakers like an electrical system, but that's how they function. So if there is a huge amount of selling in the stock market, the stock market can actually freeze at a certain level, and they can slow down or stop trading for a while and then uh, readjust, if you will, and then bring it back up. Uh, that's potentially what happened here in the gold market. Uh, again, I think uh, the power – whomever has the ability to make those kind of sell orders or buy orders, we could do either, I'm sure – uh, certainly knows ahead of time. <coughs> excuse me, knows ahead of time that the consequences are are going to drive the price down. And again, they're not certain that it could stop the system. So it's uh, deliberate. It's happened in the gold and silver markets many times, but they're not the only markets that this occurs in. Uh, it occurs basically in all markets. Uh, at one point, I didn't hold that view, but uh, I've come to understand that view uh, by doing more research and talking to my peers or whatever, my opinion is strong that uh, the working group on financial markets, really before that, the exchange stabilization fund out of the 30s after uh, Roosevelt took office, all are designed to manage, control, adjust markets uh, basically as they see fit and giving them the benefit of the doubt. And who's them is basically look up the working group on financial markets. You'll see who they are. Uh, to the benefit of preventing a big crash or that type of thing. On the other hand, you can use it to uh, control a market, which, in my view, they have done uh, again time and time again. Alan, I just got to add on, as, as I have on your show before, and it's my strong belief and proof that you can't con manipulate a market uh, in the major trend. In other words, the major trend in gold and silver is still up, uh, and even though it's been a very tough two years and it's gone sideways, regardless, this market, in my view, is still in a bull market, and we probably have a little bit longer to wait before the, this, uh, this bear market within the ongoing bull market is over, and we're going to see upward prices again. David, wouldn't it be safe to say that that $2 million order, and again, this was paper, the paper gold, that was dumped on the market in one fell swoop, if you and I were trying to liquidate a two million ounce position in gold, we wouldn't put all two million ounces of it at the market. I mean, this was clearly somebody trying to drive the price of gold down. Absolutely, I couldn't emphasize that more, and I think you said it more succinctly than I did. And the, these people know that, and you know, it could be a circuit breaker, as I just described earlier, to prevent that big an order. But still, they can do these huge orders, and it does, you know, they let it go through. Uh, if you wanted to uh, do your best on a buy or sell, it's called distribution or accumulation, and this is what the pros do all the time. If you want a stock that your commodity you think is going to go up, you make a relatively modest purchase over a number of days, weeks, or months, and then 
as you get as, as it moves in your direction, let's say you expect silver to go up, so you do what Warren Buffett did, and you accumulate over months and months and months a huge position, and then the price comes up, and then you do what's called distribution, which is you do the same thing on the way out. You sell a rather modest amount day after day after day, week after week, month after month. It may not be every single day, but you got the idea. So you accumulate over time and you distribute over time. This is normal market activity for professionals. They know better than to make huge buy orders or sell orders as we started the show, Alan. That moves the market substantially. And this is what has taken place, and it's, it's deliberate. But, you know, just because I know it, you know it, and the, the logic of the community knows it, doesn't mean that it could stand up in a court of law like we wish it would uh, in this recent, you know, kind of not acknowledgement of what happened in the silver market. Uh, that uh, they didn't really say they didn't find manipulation. What they really said was they didn't have enough evidence to do any prosecution. I'm certain that they had evidence of manipulation. I mean, that is a fact. But again, is it enough to meet the margin that's so high, the level that's so high, to prove something? And, they stated in writing that they didn't have that. Do you think this perhaps was the plunge protection team? Yeah, I do. I think, you know, I'm pretty much along the sides of GATA. I don't agree with everything that GATA does, but I think, yeah. I think that uh, particularly the gold market and the silver market is a subset. If this thing were to go wild, it would be an alarm going off. Uh, in the financial community, and you might have a runaway market. We have, uh, you know, nation states moving into gold more rapidly. Uh, individuals have never thought about buying gold. People are followers generally. So if you had gold making an up limit move, meaning it just keeps going up and up and up, and you can't even get in the futures market, it's going up so rapidly. Uh, that would be something that the powers that be really couldn't put a lid on, at least not for a while. And that's just this is going to let that happen, in my opinion. Not that it couldn't take place, because free markets always break free at some point. And I fully expect at some point uh, the gold price will get away from them. But by that time, they're probably going to be net long. So when that happens, they're going to benefit by the price increase. What do you think their logic is behind intentionally trying to go drive the price of gold down? What are they up to? Well, my view, and this is opinion only, is that they have so much more invested in the paper markets. I mean, let's face it, even Warren Buffett, who bought, you know, 20 percent of the world's silver supply physically uh, back in 1999, announced in 2000, I believe, uh, has so much more money or assets, value, et cetera, and, and in the paper markets, in the current financial system. So everyone's pulling for that. So the one thing that they don't want, as I said a moment ago, is for gold to take off rapidly and unabandonedly. If that were to take place, then it would start to question the paper market paradigm. The paper paradigm would start to come into question. And then all of a sudden you could get a psychology shift that would be huge. And then you'd have a runaway market. And so, they're, again, doing whatever. That's my view. Uh, you know, you don't have to agree with it. I'm not saying you have to. I mean, there's people in the industry that are well-noted that um, find that to be, uh, you know, an invalid opinion. Uh, if you look at the history of gold, I mean, the history of gold is it's always been suppressed. I mean, most of the time, you look at the London Gold Pool. What was the London Gold Pool about? It was a pool to get physical gold to keep the price at $35 an ounce. And what happened? It failed. This one will fail as well, and it is under management, if you want to think of it in those terms. Would you view this right now with this direct uh, manipulation taking place as a good entry point for those who currently do not have a position in silver and gold? You know, I think you want to always uh, filter in over time. I just got off our Mastermind series last night. We had a gentleman that's a hedge fund manager from Singapore. He made some pretty good calls, and he's looking for a bottom in 2013, December. And knowing the last two years, there's been these massive sell-offs going into pretty much the last trading day of the year. So I don't discount that. I put it out for my uh, Mastermind members, and they'll be able to watch the video uh, at their leisure or whatever time frame they want. So I still think I'm correct, but I'm not a, you know, uh, going to be addicted to the outcome. In other words, my call for the key reversal that we talked about so many times on your show, Alan, uh, I think that is the bottom. 
but the one thing you do is you put a line there. You put a line at eighteen thirteen or eighteen thirty seven. I forget the exact price on silver, and if, and uh, you see if it goes lower. If it goes lower, obviously I'm wrong. If it does happen, there are precautions, there are measures that you can take. Uh, this gentleman is looking for silver to go down in about the um, fourteen fifty dollar range by the end of the year. And for gold to go to about the 1080, 1090 level by the end of the year, and he himself says that uh, that's what his numbers show, but it doesn't guarantee that they will. You got to look for this, this, and this. And of course, technical analysis is based on probabilities. It's not a perfect science. I mean, if it was perfect, then you know I wouldn't be doing this radio show. I'd be, you know, sunning myself on my own island somewhere. But uh, certainly, you, I think they're very useful tools, and uh, the more you know about technical analysis, the better you can utilize it as a tool that can give you like a huge advantage, like an 80, 85 percent probability. But an 85 percent probability is not a 100 percent probability. We're speaking with David Morgan. David Morgan is the silver investor. You can get to his website, David. Well, David, you tell him briefly. Yeah, you can go to themorganreport.com, all one word, themorganreport.com. Or you can go to silverspeculator.com, silverspeculator, all one word, dot com. David, I appreciate your time, buddy. My pleasure. Thank you. I look forward to next week. Silver123.net is a silver saver program designed to be as simple as possible. For as little as $50 per month, you can set up and create an automatic cost average buying program that will get silver or gold sent to your door on a monthly basis. The first step to creating an account is easy. You will supply some basic information. Next, you will add a bank account from which you will schedule your purchases. Scheduling purchases makes saving easy. Silver Saver is customizable and allows you to control the amount and the date of purchase. Once you are signed up, you are then given your affiliate code. Now you can save in precious metals and also market this program. You can use email, web pages, and multiple forms of social media to share the Silver Saver program. Silver Saver will reward you generously with physical silver or gold whenever someone you refer becomes a saver. Silver Saver not only provides you with a share code, but also allows you to place your own banner ad on a website of your own. Silver Saver is one of the best ways to start saving and accumulating gold or silver, especially at these levels. Visit silver123.net and start saving today.